Okay, hi everybody. Well, this is the Philco. Um, uh, I missed all the clutter. <laughs> uh, now that's the. I, I already kind of pulled it out and I uh, wanted to show you the case. Uh, like I said, there's some spots on it. And I don't even think I have to zoom. I can just kind of show you these areas here. This is like a. Like a thin veneer kind of or plastic I'm not really sure I know it's not plastic I don't think it would be in 35 but it's, it's like a something I'm well I'm sure we can replace it so I'm worried about that and there's a couple little pieces down here I think those would be okay too and then over here you know it's on the side there's this piece I don't you know I'm not a great uh, woodworker Anyone that ever seen the plane that I built, you could, you know, it was, it was solid, but it was rough. <laughs> so, you know, uh, you know, don't call me to make your cabinets, but, you know, I can help you frame in great. But anyway, I think I can, uh, I can get this together. The cloth looks great, really. Look, look at the cloth in there. Uh, I really do think I lucked out on this a lot. Here's the, uh, here's the dial. Let me... See if I can get some light on it. Does that help or not? Pretty basic, simple. You know, if there's glass, I don't think I don't even think there's glass in there. It goes in. I think it just that's the way it is. Uh, the little pointer pops right off. And uh, well, the base part of it looks pretty good. And if we look up here, I mean, there's like a there's a scratch there and. Uh, swing around. I mean, for the most part, and the other side is pretty much the same. Let me see if I can. Let me swing it the other way. Uh, here we go. Um, you know, like I, I said before, I'm not real good at this hand holding, and I, I got a plan to fix that too. Uh, see, well, the wood looks great. I think. Uh, I mean, you see how some of them are that. Oh my goodness. And when we come around to here, we got the chassis. Let me uh, let me shut this off for just a second and let me pull it out so we can get that more in the center of everything. Hold on. Uh, it's dirty, yeah. I mean, it's pretty, you know, I've seen, I've seen you guys show a lot worse on some of them when you get them, but, you know, I mean, this is, this is dirty. It's been in the air. <laughs> Here's the tag for it. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Uh, well, that's there. And uh, let me zoom back out. And there's a label on the inside too. And let's see, let's take a look at that. Uh, I'll have to look at that. It looks like it's just blank, and that you know might be from the years. I can barely see anything on there, and I'll look. We'll look at that later on. But anyway, you now I pulled I pulled a couple of the uh, the tubes, and uh, if you notice, uh, I don't see uh, a, a lot of rust or corrosion. I just uh, it just it's dirty now there might be a little bit on this one uh, this tube shield here but I think that'll clean up real good I think it's just mostly dirty and if I got some of that you know, that restore that rust restore or whatever that stuff is a lot of you guys use you need to let it dip it and let it go I think that would work for the, it might work for the whole thing but that's that's in pretty good shape actually. Okay, and then I've got a couple of the other tubes here. I've got, this is a 77 I believe. Yeah, so you can't see that. I don't know how to get it to focus to make it. But that's a 77. And this one, that, that one had the cover on it, that had the shield. This one did not, and it's it's pretty grungy, but it's a 77 also. 
here's the, the 80, this is the power tube. I do believe, if I remember what the schematic said. And then here's the other tube, which I believe was the rectifier. take a look at it. Okay, there we go. Can you see that where it says uh, forty-two? Kind of. There you go. A little bit. You can see it there. It's forty-two. And they all look, I mean, and there's dirt on them and that. I don't see any like real white stuff where they go gassy or leak or something. And I'm not a big, I don't, I'm not a big tube guy. I mean, I know how they work. I know, you know, what the certain ones do and all that. But, you know, you start talking about the EEF uh, 46K and that one, oh yeah, that compares to a 12YG90, you know. I I know about like the 6L6s and, the, you know, and the power tubes and uh, uh, some of the other intermediate tubes and that and and I do not look them up and that's what I do I do with that with a lot of stuff I just look everything up because I have no memory but anyway and uh, so far this the uh, these look pretty good and now let's look at the inside let me flip it over and uh, I don't think anybody has ever been in here okay Let's see if I can get this around more by the light. It's got a lot of the the, the dog bones, and look at these. Uh, got several of these. Uh, and here's those deals. The uh, uh, there's a name for them. I can't think of it right now. But that's it's got the uh, capacitors inside of it. And there's one there. And I believe that there, that's one right there. That could be one up there, and even down here, right there. Uh, I have to look into it and, and study it more. Now that I've got it open, uh, I can do that. But, I mean, just looking at it right off the bat, and like I said, I, <clears throat> I've gained so much experience just from watching everybody else, how a lot of you guys... Uh, you know, open them, take them, uh, look and see what's going on here and there, and uh, and from what I've seen, this looks like it's uh, it's never been touched. Now I might get in there and I might find surprises inside these. It doesn't look like it, but you never know. But I'm I'm just so happy about this. Uh, I think this is really going to work well. So I'll have to, I got to, I, there's a lot to, I don't have to do yet, and there's still a lot of prep stuff I have to do. I didn't realize that, I mean, I kind of did, and I kind of didn't. Uh, you know, I had, uh, if I wanted to film these too, I've got a, um, uh, I've got a little recorder that I used to use when I made my other movies and stuff. Uh, uh, I, it's an audio recorder. It's a stereo recorder. It it's, uh, works really good. And I've got uh, lavalier mics for it. And so, and I want to use that because my main uh, uh, idea for this, so I, ha I get good audio and good videos, is I'm going to try something. I have uh, this camera, which is my... Uh, my Canon uh, OM10, and I, you know, it has the tape, you know, runs with tape and all that. But it, it was like a top of the line uh, back when it came out, and it was the um, it's when the series started where uh, they went then to the 20 and the 30, and I I like this model, but I'm not real good at hand hold or holding these things and trying to get a good shot. So, um, I like to have this on the tripod, and if I put this on the tripod, tripod, I was thinking about maybe using my either my uh, my phone 
and so if I have shots that I want to zoom in on, it's trying to pick this up and then moving it around and sh making the shot and then trying to get it back on the tripod and set back up again, I could maybe just use uh, my my phone camera and get some you know just get some inside shots like that and. And then if I have the audio recorder going and I can just put the audio with, you know, when I edit, it'll sound a lot better, I believe. But anyway, that's, that's that. And the speaker, like I said, looks to be in pretty good shape. Uh, I have to, have to give that a better look. It's, it's, uh, it's soldered in solid in here, so... Uh, I think it comes through right here, and, and so and I'll eventually probably have to pop that. And but anyway, uh, I wanted to just give you guys a quick show of what's going on. Like I said, I'm just I'm really tickled at how well this looks. Now, see, I got there's like a loose wire here, so I have to trace that down and. But my goodness, I think I can redo this really well, and uh, with uh, minimal uh, money into it, which is a good thing. And uh, you know, talk about falling into like the first uh, project, a restore project that I want to be serious about. Uh, I don't think I could ask for better. So. Uh, I'm not. I'm just running out of my mouth now. So I, I want to cut this short, and I will be uh, coming back as soon as I start doing a little bit more things. I'm going to try to test the tubes. I, I think my tube tester might might take them. I'm not sure. Uh, I'll get a look at that. And uh, and there's a couple other things that I want to look and and so we'll. Uh, and when I start doing that, then I will. I'll grab the, the recorder and. And also, like, I'll try the several multiple camera deals and, and the audio and all that, see if I can get a better uh, video for you guys. So I, I do appreciate everybody that's been staying with me. And I know I go on these hiatuses where uh, sometimes my health gets a little goofed and then I don't really... It's, it's hard to, like, just live and then on top of that trying to do this stuff. And so this kind of gets put aside for a bit, but... I have been feeling better, and uh, I've been really wanting to do this. And finding this radio has kind of like kicked the energy in too. So, you know, put that all together and yippee I O. So, all right, everybody, uh, take care, and uh, I'll be back with you soon. Uh, until then, uh, uh, goodbye and God bless everybody.